many MTG burgeoning subscribers ask the question, what the is the Pioneer Sweet 16? The Pioneer Sweet 16 is a subscriber reward series that, well, basically rewards subscribers. Here's how it works. We showcase 16 Pioneer Legal packs from 16 different Pioneer Legal sets. Then, step one, become a subscriber. If you already are a subscriber, skip to step number two. Step number two, leave a comment below selecting one of the 16 Pioneer Legal packs available. This is a first come, first serve venture. Once a pack has been claimed, it cannot be claimed by another subscriber. Step number three, after all 16 packs have been claimed, they are all opened in a video. The single most valuable card among these 16 packs is awarded to the subscriber that chose that pack. All card prices are based on TCG player mid at the time of the pack openings. 16 will enter, but only one will win. Will it be you? And then there were none, folks. That's right, 16 sweet pioneer packs up for grabs. 16 packs claimed and ready to be opened. Who will be the first ever Pioneer Sweet 16 winner? We got Hugo for Course Set 2019. We got Jacines for Ixalan. We got Zephyr for Rivals of Ixalan. Irina for Return to Ravnica. Dario for Oath of the Gatewatch. Ricardo for Kaladesh. Renato for Guilds of Ravnica. Big Boy 321, Shadows over in a Strad. We got Isaac for Dominaria. We got G Unki for Amon Ket. Dom Bookie for Journey into Nex. Schmoopies Forever Smith for Throne of Eldraine. And we got Derp McDerpson, Born of the Gods. Lunacy 4, Cons of Tarkir. Ko El, So Past Local for Fate Reforged. And number 16, Theros Beyond Death for David McFarland. And those are our first 16 Pioneer Packs for the first MTG burgeoning Pioneer Sweet 16. Let's mix these packs up just a little bit. Just to get a little more randomness. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, let's go here and then let's go here. Let's flip these babies. Uh, who is it gonna be? Who is gonna be the first ever winner? Give ourselves some room here. Okay, all right, folks, pack one. Here we go, Fate Reforged, pack one. Boy, this will this will all be for nothing if we pull a Eugen in this first pack, folks. There are very few cards that are gonna be able to beat a Eugen outside of us finding a foil of some kind. So we're not even gonna bother to look at the commons or the uncommons. This is all about the rares, the mythics, and the foils. All right, uncommon, uncommon. All right. Koel, here we go, and you've got the Arch Fiend of Depravity. Do we have? No, we do not. All right, so 
Koel, you've got the Arch Fiend of Depravity. Next up, we've got Dom Bookie with the Journey into Nyx. All right. Maybe some God action. Let's see what we've got here. We're skipping right past the commons. Past here, past here. Okay, nice banishing light. And we've got Twin Flame. Twin Flame is your rare. And no foil. Oh, pretty cool Hydra token. Very nice. All right. Dom Bookie, you Twin Flame. Next up, we've got Lunacy 4 with Cons of Tarkir. The MTG Burgeoning Pioneer Sweet 16. Okay, got through those commons. All right, and we're looking at our first mythic, Empty the Pits. Empty the Pits is the Mythic with a Foil Kin Tree Invocation. All right, just for the purposes, we'll just hang on to both of those just in case. I can't imagine that the uh, Foil Invocation is going to outvalue the Rares and Mythics of 15 other packs. But we're just going to keep it safe all right, Thona Valdrain and Schmoopy's Forever Smith. Okay, here we go. This is pack number four. All right, we got this dwarf token. That certainly isn't going to be the winner. Planes and Giant Killer. Non foil Giant Killer. And that is all for there. All right, Giant Killer for Schmoopy's Forever Smith. Next up, we've got Theros Beyond Death and David McFarland. So far, there's no front runner. No one jumping out ahead so far. All right, Token, Forest, and Storm Herald is the rare. No foil here. Uncommon. And our commons. Okay. Storm Herald is Dave McFarlane. So far, we move forward. Next up, G Unki with Amon Cat. Oh. Is there a masterpiece in this pack? Oh, baby, wouldn't that be something? Getting a masterpiece. I'm going to skip through these commons. Okay, here we go. Uncommon one. Uncommon two. Drop those down to see. Sweltering Suns. And nothing behind it. Except a nice full art bolus land. Sweltering Suns, G Unki. Okay, next up is Renato Gomez, Guilds of Ravnica. Are we looking for a shock land here? Okay, here we go. On common one, on common two. Creeping Chill and Watery Grave. There we go. Shockland coming in. And I got to think through seven packs, this has got to be the front runner. Watery Grave. All right, Renato. Watery Grave. All right, pack eight hitting the halfway, halfway points. Of the Sweet 16, we've got Ixalan. Okay, Ixalan is up. 
Common one, uncommon two. And we are left with an arcane adaptation. And no foil. Where are the foils? We've only gotten one foil. Whoops. One foil in eight packs so far. All right. Stack number two. All right, Ricardo Kaladash. Oh, baby. An invention? A masterpiece? Oh, wouldn't that be something? All right, let's see. You got that kind of luck? Okay, uncommon one, uncommon two. And we're looking at a midnight oil. With... Oh, just a regular basic land behind you. All right, Ricardo. Next up, we have Isaac with Dominaria. Oh, Teferi. That's who we're looking for here. Come on, baby. All right, I'm going to speed through these commons. MTG Burgeoning Pioneer Sweet 16. Common, uncommon, and Tashar, Ancestor's Apostle. Got ourselves a bird cleric with no foil. All right, Isaac. Okay, we are up to Dario Garita. Okay, Oath of the Gatewatch. Expedition. Oh, a nice shiny Foily land. Wouldn't that just be awesome? Let's do it. Come on, baby. Let's see it. Uncommon. Second uncommon. All right, here we go. Here comes the rare of the mythic. We've got Oath of Gideon. Anything shiny under there? Oh, just a forest and an Eldrazi token. Come on, baby. Where the heck are our heavy hitters? All right, rivals. All right, come on, Zephyr. You got this. Let's see. What the heck? There we go. Okay, go through these commons, and we're going through uncommon one, uncommon two. And here we go. We're getting set up. And we've got, oh, Angrath the Flame Chained. Look at that lovely Rakdos Planeswalker. Angrath the Flame Chained. And a foil, Reckless Rage. Angrath the Flame Chained. All right. Nice pull there, Zephyr. Not sure if it's going to be enough. Big boy for Shad or Big Boy 321, Shadows over in a strad. One of my all-time favorite sets. Okay, let's go. Uncommon. Uncommon. If you've if you opened any amount of Shadows over Innistrad, you know how many rares could be in a pack. We could get three rares in one pack. And rare one is Confirm Suspicion. Counter target spell and a transforming common of solitary hunter checklist and the greatest clue art ever made. All right, big boy. Counter spell right there for you. Down to three packs. Ivina, you're up next. Return to Ravnica. Okay, are we going to see another? Another Shockland? Oh, baby. Okay, here we go. Uncommon. Uncommon. All right, Arena, here we go. Righteous Authority. Azorius Aura. With a... F nope, no foil. Thought there might have been a foil back there, Arena. All righty. And we're down to two. Derp, Nick Derpson. Come on, Born of the Gods. Let's see a god come on down. Okay, commons on common. Common. And Temple of Plenty. 
Anything shiny? Nothing. One temple. Okay. All right. Pack 16. The last one claimed. The last one opened. We pull a Nicole Bolas, and I'm pretty sure that's the showstopper. All right, you go. Let's see what we got. Uncommon. Uncommon 2. And oh, Lena, the selfless champion. And that is all. All right, folks. That is the Pioneer Sweet 16. I'm thinking it's got to be between Zephyr and it's got to be between Renato. We've got a Watery Grave and we've got Angrath. Who is going to bring it home? And just by a couple of bucks, Renato Gomez is the winner of MTG Burgeoning's first ever Pioneer Sweet 16. And your prize is a pack fresh Guilds of Ravnica Watery Grave. So Renato, email me. Let me know how I can get this card to you. Thank you everyone for participating. I truly hope you had as much fun as I did. This was a great experience. And we're going to have to do it again sometime. Virginites, we are out. And congratulations to Renato Gomez.